<laughs> you know, Maggie, this is my favorite time of the day. Just you and me making a hearty breakfast for the rest of the family, stoking their little furnaces for the busy day ahead. And you know what else I like about the wee hours of the morn? This is our time to be together. Mm. Oh, I dread the day when you realize you're a separate human being. Oh, listen, Maggie. I think I hear those sleepy heads now. With the possibility of showers later Aww. tonight. And now to our hey, own where's the frosty the crusty flakes? In the KBBL traffic copter. So come on in, Bill. Ah. Bad news, drivers. But there's hardly no milk. And fresh squeezed OJ. Oh, and and who we toast. There's a and melon rustling going on, so expect delays up to three hours. Meanwhile, hey, Boomer! Bart, there's one left and it's mine! Bart, Dad! Clear if I were you. And now here's a traffic update. There's still an overturned melon truck on the interstate. What? Don't want to go to work in my shorts. Uh-oh, school bus! Hey, call your jets, man. We're coming! Oh, still three hours. Meanwhile, over on the southbound Main Street... You forgot the special lunches I made! That's okay, Mom! We got money! Now, just a darn... This is Bill Pye, your pie in the sky, saying goodbye. Well, Maggie, it's just you and me again. Talk 24 hours a day. If you'd like to share your embarrassing problem with our listening audience, we invite you to call our therapist of the airwaves, Dr. Marvin Monroe. Our number is 555-PAIN. Don't be afraid. Call now. <laughs> Hello. I'd like to talk to Dr. Monroe. First name, age, problem. I'm Marge, 34, and my problem is my husband. He doesn't listen to me. He doesn't appreciate me. I don't know how much more of this I can... Hey, lady, save your whining for when you're on the air, okay? Okay, let's see. Next we have Marge. She's 34... Your husband is a selfish pig, and you deserve him. If he doesn't start loving, you're leaving. Rubber baby buggy bumper babysitting service. Hello, this is Mr. Samson. Did your wife just call a second ago? No, I said Samson, not Simpson. Thank God. Those Simpsons, what a bunch of savages. Especially that big ape father. Actually, the Simpsons are neighbors of ours, and we found them to be a quite misunderstood and underrated family. Right. Mom, you look so glamorous. Well, tonight is a very special night. Your father is taking me out for dinner and dancing. Dad dances? Like an angel. Oh. Bye, kids. Watch out for the boy. Mm. Bye now. Mm. Be good. Mm, gotta go. Papa. Papa, 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 papa. Come, children, let's go watch the happy little elves. You know, Marge, this is just like when we were dating. Except for one thing no chaperone. Oh, -ho. The babysitter bandit has left a trail of her daring nighttime robberies across the continental United States. She could be lurking anywhere, about to descend upon another house full of unsuspecting dupes. Wow! In a moment, we will show you a picture of the real babysitter bandit, Miss Lucille Botsukowski. Remember, she may be using a clever alias. Bots. And should be considered armed and dangerous.